Hey guys, what's going on? I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while. Um, life's been crazy. I uh, haven't had really any time to upload videos about talking about how what it's like to be in a relationship with somebody in the military. Now, I am going to upload videos every Sunday when I um, come back from church. I'll upload a video. And um, today we're going to be talking about going all the way back to the beginning to where I stopped. <laughs> Said I was going to tell you guys the tips and everything about what to send and what not to send somebody when they're in boot camp. Now, in 2017, my husband was in boot camp in Oklahoma. And like I said, the, the mailing process is actually pretty fast. He got a letter within three days, and I got a letter back in three days. And um, you got to realize, when they're in boot camp, they're doing hard training, like hard training. Like they're going through the gas chamber, doing a lot of physical stuff. And um, the only thing that they really get to, you know, make them feel better is mail. If you're dating somebody in the military or your family, friends or whatever, trust me, sending them letters will be, you know, life changing for them because they're going through a lot right now when they go through training. And, um... When I send my husband letters in the mail, what I would do is that I got a pretty big white envelope. I'll show you an example. Envelopes are cheap. I mean, you can get them at Walmart pretty cheap or wherever. They sell office supplies. But yeah, a standard white envelope is what you need to send. Of course, it's going to be, you know, basic um, you know, you put your, the address here in the middle, you know, same concept of how to send mail, you know, the, the stamp, your address in the corner, the sending address in the middle, blah, blah. And now what you could put inside, what I did is that I would draw him drawings. I would write poems and then I would write him letters. And I would fit them all in this one envelope here and send it to him. Now, also, you know, I put lipstick stains on some of the letters, like little kiss marks. And I would spray perfume on a letter or two or, you know, you know, just a, you know, cheer them up. You know what I mean? Like I said, um, just a basic white envelope. You get a big one. It could fit a lot in there. And um, what I had to do for for him while he was in boot camp, he was running out of stamps. Now you got to realize they can't go anywhere in their own boot camp. So what I had to do, I had to send him stamps in an envelope one time so he can keep sending me letters because he's he got some with him, but he didn't have enough. So. Just to have that in mind, you might have to get stamps for you and for them, whoever you're sending to. And now, what not to send is envelopes like this, like the bright colored ones. Do not send them to them because the people that pick up the mail are the sergeants and all that stuff. And they will give him a very hard time. <laughs> and, um... This will stick out like a sore thumb. They would give him a hard time. They will make fun of him. I really don't know if they would get the mail or not because if it's in an envelope like this that are colored, I know they're cute or whatever. But like I said, stick to the standard white envelopes. But whatever you can put inside of them, you know, it's whatever. Like I said, I did drawings and different things. I got ideas from Pinterest to what? to um you know to draw and stuff because um i know him getting a letter in the mail meant a lot to him and now basic training lasts up to two months and um like i said they do a lot of physical training 
uh, what my husband told me. He told me a little bit here and there. He really didn't want to talk about it that much. He said it basically sucked. <laughs> but he went through boot camp, got out, and whatever. But like I said, the mailing process is three days. And um, you don't know when you'll get a letter back. Like I said in a previous video, they don't have a lot of time over there. They don't have a lot of downtime. And when they do, they're tired. And um, they got to go to bed at a certain time. They got to get up at a certain time. I mean, everything is no uh, at a certain time. <laughs> and um, when they do have time to write, you might get a like a letter, like just on the front page. Like one page letter. Won't be much. But like I said, they have a limited time. To themselves before they call lights out and that's when they have to go to sleep and now when they do have time to write they might not say much <clears throat> because they are restricted but that doesn't mean they don't think of you any less they don't love you any less or anything as long as you give a letter <coughs> sorry as long as you could get a letter they are thinking of you and now they can call while they're in boot camp. I don't, it's at random times. They can only make, they only have so long to call. And unfortunately, every time Charlie called, I missed the call because I was on second shift. And um, I was on second shift. And unfortunately, he had to leave me voicemails. Which kind of sucks because I really wanted to talk to him. You know, no, anyone would. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the idea. Like I said, it's just use a white envelope. You know, how you always send letters in the mail. You know, stamp. Make sure you send them stamps if they do need them. Because if you don't, you won't get letters back. Like I said, they... They can't go anywhere. They're stuck at boot camp. <laughs> and um, they'll send them bright colored envelopes. But whatever you can fit inside the envelope, is your, it's his. Like drawings, poems, whatever you want to do. And um, also another thing, do not send candy as well. The only kind of candy they can get is um, cough drops. The sugar-free ones is what... <laughs> Is what he said why he was in basic. So don't think about putting candy or whatever in the envelopes. Because they will notice that. Because, you know, the shapes and stuff. But you can't send them snacks or anything. Just basically letters. Because they're very, very strict when they're in basic training. Very strict. And um, if... You send him anything like that. Like I said, they'll give him a hard time. He'll get punished for it. And you will feel bad. <laughs> so don't do anything like that. To make that time harder on them as it is already. And um, yeah, that's today's video. I hope you guys learned something from this. Next week we'll talk on another topic. We'll talk about, you know, Christmas leave and all that. And, and then the week after that we'll talk about AIT training. And what it's like to go through that process. I hope this uh, video gave you a lot of information. I hope it was helpful. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.